Alright, hey guys, it's Greg Jones for Engine Builder and welcome back to another episode of Engine of the Week. Today we are at Sick Week in Gainesville, Florida, and I'm joined by Colby Bauck. And this between us here is his twin turbo Gen 2 Coyote, and it's our Engine of the Week. Engine Builders Engine of the Week is sponsored by Pen Grade One, L Ring DOS Original, and NPW. Colby, thanks so much for giving us some time here on uh, day three of Sick Week. And uh, you know, we were walking by the pits here, saw your Mustang with the Coyote here, and wanted to know a little bit more about it. So, if you would, tell us a little bit about the car and engine combo, and I guess start with you know how long you've had it. Yeah, for sure. So I've had the car coming on four years now. Um, I, I haven't been able to have it out and race it a lot because our seasons are pretty short where I'm from, up in Canada. Yeah. So this past year, we took it on a drag and drive up north to really sort some things out and some issues we were having. But uh, things came around, we found a couple of our major problems and, and the engine's been really good. So it's a Gen 2 Coyote. It's got some Gen 1 parts in it that are a little stronger um, just as far as timing chains and such. Uh, it has you know, a really good ignition system. It's got Holly Smart coils on it. Uh, it's got a good plasma and intake and just some good stuff on the bottom end too, so. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've always liked the plasma man intake, so those always look cool. Yeah, it's uh, it's definitely a showpiece, but it's very functional as well, so, yeah. yeah. Uh, so Colby, walk us through maybe some of the internals that you have. Um, you know, are you using any aftermarket parts in there? Yeah, so the, the block, the, the factory Gen 2 block has been sleeved. Uh, it has a really good piston rod in it. Um, I don't have the exact details just off memory. Uh, and it has Darton sleeves, I, I know that for a fact. Um, stock crank, so it's still running a, a stock. Um, the Gen 2 crank is the stronger crank, so we kept that in it. And uh, yeah, some, not, not too much wizardry, but it's working really well for us. Yeah. How about anything up top in the cylinder heads or the valve train? Uh, anything different there? So it has a good set of camshafts in it. Um, just really helps get the airflow in and out of it. Uh, you know, we can spin it to a bit higher of a, a boost level and be efficient. Uh, the heads are not even ported, to be honest. Okay. They're they're as cast from Ford. Yeah. So we're pretty impressed with how that's performing. Yeah. Now, obviously you can't ignore the twin turbo setup that you have. Uh, you want to talk a little bit about what you guys are actually running here? Yeah, so these are twin precision Gen 2s. They're 6870s. Um, they've been flawless. Like, we've had them on the car almost four years. I haven't serviced them. Um, they've been working really well. Zero, zero problems so far. So, really good turbo. Now, when you guys are out there on the track, how much boost are you running to the turbos? So, uh, what we've been doing this week, it was a real shot in the dark because the, the car is capable of running well past a, an 850 in the quarter. So we chose to do the eighth mile rowdy radio class so we could get some steam and l let it let it eat for the eighth mile and yeah. see what we could do. And um, we ended up going upwards of 38 pounds of boost. Um, it's a very heavy car. I scaled it uh, at Orlando in day one. It weighed 3,800 pounds. Wow. So we managed to do a 507 at 147 in Orlando, which, which if you do the math, it's making some power. Yeah. And um, we managed to do a 501 yesterday. So, yeah. Very nice. So improving a little bit. So. Little, little steps, yeah. Our goal is to come down here and run like 540s, 530s. So the fact we're, we're past that is pretty pretty cool, so. Yeah, now, now that you know kind of where you're at after two days, do you have even further expectations for the remainder of the event? Um, yeah, we're hoping to go a little quicker. I mean, we'd, we'd really like to see that, that four number, yeah. you know, with an XX behind it. And um, we pulled 40 pounds out of the car. It's a full interior car front seats, back seats, everything. So we light, we lightened it up a little bit and we'll see what happens. Yeah. Now, Colby, have you guys done, a, you mentioned you've done a drag and drive up in Canada. Have you done some other ones outside of that in Sick Week? Yeah, so we have a drag and drive in Alberta uh, and Saskatchewan, Canada called Miles of Mayhem. I've done it three years. The first two years I, I did, did it with my stick car and uh, 
last year was the first year I did it with this car. And we, we, we didn't go to win, we didn't go to place. We really wanted to sort the car out. It had a lot of things that we need to figure out. And what's better than taking it on a, you know, a 12, 1400 mile drive, so. Absolutely. Yeah. Awesome. Colby, anything about the Coyote or the Mustang itself that we might be leaving out that you want to mention? Um, I think we covered most of it. It's a, it's a fairly simple combo, to be honest. It has some it has some good parts in it, but it's it's not not high dollar, not not crazy stuff. So, yeah. Uh, any plans for the future of it? You know, is there something that you're looking to do uh, in the next year or two to go to that next level? Uh, with this car, just because of the weight limitation and the fact we're we're at the cur or, uh, cage cert already, um, pre pretty happy with the level it's running. Just I'd like to do some more races with it at at this range and just just hold you know, hold things together. So. Yeah, sounds good. Well, Kobe, really appreciate the time. Thanks for walking.